I'm just kind of still kind of curious. I'm just wondering. Definitely you did. You did. You won. I appreciate that, man. Yo, what? All right. I'm not touching my mouse at all right now. Like, deadass. My hands are off the fucking mouse. This thing is shooting for me. Now I'm moving it, but I'm not clicking. Bro, that is weird. I had this problem with fucking Halo the other night. Yeah, bro, the fucking ghost mouse. Shit's creepy. So, Kalentz W, I hope I said your name right, man. Appreciate the five. Sub Griffin, I'm thinking about building a PC. Should I wait till the new cards are more available or pay the overcharge price for them? Honestly, right now, man, I wouldn't even recommend building. I would get a pre-built. Like, look at a service like NZXT where you can actually buy the parts at retail, and that's going to be your best course of action because nobody knows when the new cards are going to drop in price. Like, it's it could literally be six months, it could be a year, it could be two years, nobody knows. So if you're looking at getting a PC, go with a build service like NZXT. And just, you know, you can piece out every part that you want, and you just pay retail for each one. And that way you're getting the parts you want, but you're not overpaying. That's kind of what I would recommend. Like, building a PC right now is almost impossible. Unless you get really fucking lucky and get a GPU. Like, some people are paying resell for GPUs that cost as much as an entire computer would. So that's kind of the way you have to look at it. Abel with the two, I'm late. What's your thoughts on the OLED Switch? I'm definitely going to get one, but I think it should have been 300 bucks instead of 350 That and also the other thing I'm kind of like questioning is why they didn't increase the battery life because... You know, that OLED screen is not only OLED, but it's bigger, so it's going to drain the battery faster. So you're going to get less use out of your Switch versus the old one. So they probably should have upped the battery life as well, but... I mean, other than that, I think it looks pretty good. An OLED screen is a pretty big upgrade, I would say. So, Prince stick figure with the 5, Nintendo gave us a Switch with an OLED and no hardware CPU slash GPU upgrades. I'm kind of disappointed. RIP Switch Pro. I mean, the thing is with the Switch Pro is they would never do it because then developers would make Switch Pro exclusive games. And that's probably what Nintendo was looking at. Like, yeah, we don't want to do that because it's just going to piss people off. It's like what happened with the new 3DS. Like, that was so fucking confusing. Like, even Nintendo had their own first-party games that only played on the new 3DS. And that confused a lot of people and pissed a lot of people off because they went and bought the game, put it in, and said, oh, you don't have the right 3DS. So I can understand where they're coming from on that one. Pain with the five, yo, I got silenced on Discord. Is that temporary or what? I said the F word. Yeah, it's just temporary. It's just the bot, so you're gonna mute it, I think, in like 15 or 30 minutes. I don't remember. But yeah, you're fine. You don't get banned or anything for that, so don't worry about it. You'll get unmuted. I think it's like 30 minutes, maybe. I'm not sure. But Saber Ram with the 10. Good evening. I think Nova had some points, but was arguing from the wrong angle. Like a few things he said were right but for the wrong reasons for the most part he was wrong though i mean that's fair i mean that's the thing is not everybody's has to agree with me on and i definitely have i would say i have the unpopular opinion when it comes to the whole battlefield shit like you know the popular opinion is ea bad anything paid in a video game bad i don't know like obviously i was kind of fighting an uphill battle there so i understand why a lot of people wouldn't agree with my stance which is fine but I do not think he argued his points well at all. From my personal opinion. 210505 with D2. Why did people think it was going to be 4K? Because there's this YouTuber. I think it's like 
His name's like RTG. Is it RTG or RGT? I can't fucking remember this shit. It's like MBG or MGB. I can't remember which one it fucking is. But anyway, the RGT, I think, 85 guy, like, that dude literally has been the hype man for the Nintendo Switch Pro for, like, the past year or so. So I think that's why a lot of people were thinking of it. It was, like, a bunch of fucking rumors from that one dude in particular. I think he has, like, a hundred videos on this shit or something. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. So it's been hyped up a lot by, like, a couple YouTubers who do Switch content. So, Abel with the two, I mostly play dogs, so I won't be getting one? Yeah, that makes no sense to get one then. Yeah, there's no benefit other than the Ethernet cable, which really isn't going to make that big a difference because Nintendo Switch Online is shit anyway. And being wired is probably not going to have a big impact. So Oski Woski with a two, an extra 50 bucks for 0.8 inch screen, take my money. Bro, that's like iPhones though, dead ass. Like motherfuckers will spend an extra 300 bucks to get the new iPhone with a slightly larger screen. So, you know it works. I mean, the OLED is going to look a lot better. Because if you compare the original PS Vita model to the second one that came out, the original one looked so much better because it had an OLED screen, so the colors just looked a lot more crisp. I don't know, man. Like, there is a pretty noticeable difference when you play on an OLED versus, like, a shitty little LCD screen or whatever's in the Switch. Like, you're not going to get that really bad... What is that thing called? What is it called? Like, the haloing effect or whatever? When you're watching... Or not watching when you're like looking at the screen and it's like dark but there's a bright object on it and you kind of get that ring around the light object that doesn't make the background look black you know that's a pretty noticeable upgrade I can't think of what the fucking term is called but you can kind of get what I'm saying I guess the main point is the image is gonna look a hell of a lot better and that's a fact What was the resolution on the Vita? Was that 720p or 1080p? I don't remember. Maybe it was 1080p, but the thing is with the Vita is almost no game was hitting 1080p. I don't think most were hitting a light bleed. Yeah, that's it. Light bleed. Why couldn't I fucking think of that shit? Yeah, that's the term I'm looking for. It was 720p? Okay. So, yeah. I mean, honestly, I think the Switch should have had an OLED screen to begin with. It's not, like, new technology. It's been around on phones forever. So, Saber Ram with the 5 on the whole, I agree with you. Yeah, he had a few good points, but it didn't present them well. And right for the wrong reasons, it felt like he didn't prepare. Yeah, I was I was kind of shocked, man, when he said, Oh, I, I don't know. I'd have to rewatch the video. It's like, bro, then... Because originally, I was literally trying to do the debate, like, a couple days after he challenged me. Like, I was saying, oh, we can do it over the weekend or whatever. He wanted to wait until next week. Like, this week. So, I thought he was going to use that time to, like, prepare or whatever, but obviously not. I don't know. I was expecting timestamps and shit. The PS Vita screen was only 480p? Oh, shit. That's pretty bad. I had a Vita for a week, and then I returned it. Because there was nothing to play on it. And I realized that pretty quickly. Yeah, I got you, man. Groovy. Have fun in Mexico. RTM Melnikov with the five. Nice debate yesterday. I felt like very little progress was made on both sides. Though. Oh, yeah. Bro, I don't think anybody was going to that debate, like, prepared to have their mind changed. So, it was all for entertainment. Absolutely. fucking Absolutely. Yeah, the PS Vita was kind of a cool piece of hardware. And I mean, I loved my PSP. Like, the PSP is the only console from Sony I genuinely loved. Like, I fucking loved that thing, dude. Like, the PSP was so fucking cool. And I remember when they announced the PS Vita, I'm like, oh shit. 
this thing is going to be really epic. And I bought it and it just sucked. Like I waited a year or two for it to come out. And then I bought it because like it didn't launch with very much stuff at all. I was like, well, it's okay. You know, the PSP had a lot of shit coming out for it. So I waited a year. I got, was it a year after or two years? I forgot. I think I got the slim one. But I got that, and then, like, I looked at all the games on it, and I was like, shit, there is nothing to play on it. Which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. So, Callus W with a 2, what is the song at the end of your videos? It's called Dreams Part 2 by Lost Sky. So if you just type in Dreams P-T-I-I... It'll p come up. It's on the channel NCS. So it's like one of the no copyright songs. Username with the two should have included a network cable for portable. What do you mean? Like for the Switch? I mean, the thing is... I don't know, man. Like, I don't even feel like anybody's going to use that Ethernet cable on the Switch. Like, how many people are playing, like, competitive multiplayer games on the Switch? Lira with the 5 EA bad is the popular Reddit opinion, but anyone just playing games usually doesn't care at all, lol. Well, yeah, that's the thing, though, is most people on YouTube are more inclined towards the Reddit opinion, as we see by Yong Ye's ever-growing fan base of fellow EA batters. So, yeah. So, Oski with the 5, I wasn't expecting an enhanced switch, a bigger screen was my expectations, and I buy all the new phones, so I'm guilty of it. I'm getting that shit. I'm probably going to get it too, man. I think the OLED, like, honestly, the OLED screen is going to look really crisp. Like, that's a pretty big upgrade. Now, should it be a $50 upgrade? Not really. I think it should be 300 bucks because that Tegra chip at this point is dirt cheap. Like, it's costing Nintendo nothing to buy that shit at this point. <laughs> like, what year was that shit from? Like, 2014? 2015? Like, they must be getting that for dirt cheap. So, that's the only thing I would say. Is they could have, you know, helped everybody out a little bit on the price. But I get it. They want to make more money and sell the old model of the Switch as well. Because they're going to keep manufacturing the older version and the new one. Oh, dude, that guy was just fucking sitting there waiting for me. You hate to see it. So, Pothead Investor with the two, the Switch is now in 2006. I know, they're really, they're really going above and beyond with that Ethernet port. <laughs> dude, I don't even know why the original Switch didn't have an Ethernet port. Like, bro, that's, that dock is literally a hollow piece of plastic. They could have literally put that thing anywhere on it. There was a ton of real estate for an Ethernet port. I don't even know why they're not using, like, USB-C ports, like USB-C to USB-C. I feel like that would have been a great improvement as well. Instead of having, like, the USB-A ports or whatever. That would have been a nice change. So, Kill Me with the 10, I think Supa believes any content created for a game before launch should be in the game. You're not entitled to any content or content except what you pay for, and it's up to you to decide if there's value there. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of the point I was making. And to say, like, anybody who buys it is damaging the video game industry is really fucking stupid. That's kind of that's kind of the way I look at it. It's like, if he wasn't drawing that conclusion, like, oh, the people who support this are hurting the video game industry, I probably wouldn't have had as big a problem with this video as I did. But that shit was just fucking dumb, man. Like, at the end of the day, just don't fucking buy it. If you think it's a ripoff, don't buy it. But if other people want to spend their money on it, they're not part of a problem or whatever. You know, it's their money, their choice. Peaches with the five before you make a video about Supernova, make sure you call to get his approval. I know, man. I gotta have a live debate before I can even consider making a a video on any topic he's covered, apparently. 
I don't know. I fucking hate that debate me bro mentality. Like, dude, we get it. You made a shit video. You didn't get your point across. It's not my responsibility to give you that opportunity to do so. You should have done that when you uploaded the video. I review video games. I collect video games. The five, are you excited for McGregor? Um, Poirier fight? And thoughts on Prey 2006? Personally, I don't really watch UFC, so not really. But as far as Prey 2006, I played that a long ass time ago, and it was pretty cool. A very unique game for sure. That was on the yeah, that was 360. Okay, I'm not tripping. Two ten five oh five with the two. The Vita needed a big exclusive like a Pokemon. Yup, instead of some B grade Uncharted spinoff from some random studio. That was not even that great. The only good game on the Vita I will give it credit for is that Killzone game. That shit was fucking fire, bro. Killzone, what was it called? Killzone Mercenaries or something like that? That game on the Vita was actually really cool, but other than that, most of the games were pretty shit. So Jeff Holloway with the five. Uh, got a 3080 Ti over the weekend at my local micro center. Congrats, man. That's fucking awesome. That's a big W. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people having success at Micro Center. I wish I had one actually kind of close to me. But congrats on that one, dude. That's awesome. 3080 Ti is a amazing card. Let's see Parfait with the two, Griffin. Are you dumb? There is Overwatch on Switch. Yeah, but nobody's playing Overwatch on fucking Switch competitively. That shit barely even runs. I've played it. Like, that shit doesn't even fucking run at 20 frames per second half the time. Nobody's playing that shit competitively. If the lag doesn't screw you over, the frame drops will, so... I don't really think an Ethernet cable is going to make that big of a difference. Saber ran with a 10. PSP was hype as hell. I have three because I played the crap out of it. Oh, fuck. All right, there we go. Easy. Oh, shit. I put the crap out of it. Monster Hunter is a hell of a drug lol. So apparently there is a channel called PS Vita at 3 a.m. And there is still support for the Vita. I don't know, man. I know there's like a big cult surrounding the Vita. Like people who swear by it. They're like, oh, this is the greatest system that nobody bought. Like there was a huge, I mean, it's not huge, obviously, because they <laughs> ended support for it. So obviously it wasn't a very large group of people that were big fans of it, but... There's a fairly decent-sized group of people on the internet that, like, swear by the PlayStation Vita. But yeah, the PSP it was so great. It was such a great handheld. I used to play the original Battlefronts and the Force Unleashed a lot. On my PSP. That's basically all I played all the time. So Oski Waski with the th or with the three shit. It's two ninety nine, not two. Unpopular opinion. I would love the Steam Portable. Oh shit, bro! I would love that. What is it called? What were they? What is the Valve handheld called? I forgot. Is it the Steam Play or some? I forgot what it was called. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like the Valve version of the Switch that they're working on right now. What is that called? I forgot. St what is that shit called? Steam Pal? Is it the Steam Pal? I'm not sure. Steam Pal? Okay, I've seen two people call it that. Okay, the Steam Pal. Alright. So yeah, that, that looks really cool. I would love for that to actually come out. I would definitely pick that up. Like, I don't even care if it's, like, 500 bucks. I'd pay for that. That would be really awesome. That would just be such a great... I don't... Dude, that's just such a cool device. I would love to get that. I was kind of upset when the Steam Machines never materialized. Because those were about to come out right before I was going to college. So I was like, shit, dude, I can get a gaming PC that I can fit in my dorm... And they never, they never really materialized, unfortunately. I can't afford this shit. I can't afford this shit. 
So let me see. Hector B with the two. Timeout, timeout, Supernova. I know, man. It was a timeout, like, every two minutes. It's like, bro, let me fucking talk. Anytime I, like, tried to make a point. Timeout, timeout. Like, bro, chill. I don't know. It's not really how a debate works. Trump's right testicle with the two. Supernova wishes he had girthy, veiny toes like Griff. Damn right he fucking does, man. A lot of people do. Let's face it. There's a lot of jealousy in the room. Absolutely. fucking lutely Pothead Investor with the two. Have you tried RE8 G Fuel? No, I haven't. Is it good? I haven't, like, looked into what the flavor actually is. So Saber Ram with the two. Vita is, like, the Wii U setup to die from the... Wait, what? Vita is, like, the Wii U... It's set... Oh, wait. It was set up to die from the go. Yeah. Sony just didn't support it at all. Like, they needed more IPs on it. Because the hardest thing with the handheld in the age of multiplayer gaming is to give people a reason to actually play that shit because people are not going to always be on the go playing games. And the Switch did a really good job of that. Like, the games are just as fun to play on your TV as they are in handheld. And Sony just never really prioritized that. It was like, yeah, you had this Uncharted game, but if you're going to play Uncharted at home, why the fuck would you play it on a handheld? Like, I don't know. Like, it just, it never really made sense. A game like Uncharted to me is not a good handheld game because you need to sit down and play it for hours. Whereas a handheld, you're going to pick up and play for like 10 to 15 minutes, which Nintendo games do exceedingly well in prioritizing either short burst gameplay or long-term gameplay. Like, you can play a Pokemon game for, like, 10 minutes and put it down and come back to it later, or you can play it for four hours if you want to. Same with Mario, same with Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, all that type of shit. And Sony just didn't do that. They tried to make, like, PlayStation 3 games on a handheld, and it didn't work. Prince stick figure with the two. The PSP was the first console I put CFW onto. Bro, I wish I had, like, actually knew about, like, modding and shit on the PSP because there was a lot of cool shit people did with those back in the day. Like, my friend had, like, a bunch of emulators and stuff on his, and I never really figured out how to do it. Which is unfortunate. Offenders with a five. Gotta love these brainlets who think they know what's best for EA despite having no knowledge on the subject, anyways, thoughts on Spider-Man 2018? I played two hours of it and took it to GameStop and sold my PS4 Pro. <laughs> if, that, if that gives you a good enough idea of what I thought about Spider-Man 2018. I just could not get into it at all. Lyra with the five. Funnily enough, two years ago, I would have agreed with Supa and Yong. I still dislike EA. And don't buy from them. But if others do, it's whatever. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. It's like at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if, you know, you buy something or somebody else does. Dial 1-800 Harbinger with the 5. Are we going to get... Wait, are we going to put the gay in gaming and watch Big Man Gamers tonight? Possibly. Yeah, sure. We can take a look if you want. We can definitely take a look at that. And Gaming Wolf with the 25. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much, man. Been planning on getting an Omen Gaming laptop, then customizing it later on. Also, have you tried Mountain Dew Baja Flash or Baja Punch? I have not tried either of those, and I did not know that either of them existed. Where the fuck do you find those? Are they like it? So, are they at... Taco Bell or are they just like at stores? I haven't heard of either one of those. I need to try them because I love Baja Blast. But I'm gonna look this shit up. But no, I have not tried either. They're at Taco Bell? Alright, sick. Alright, then I can just order them. Easy. They're limited editions? Yeah, I'll order those from Taco Bell. Yeah, I've had Baja Blast. I haven't had Baja Flash. Or, what was it? Baja Punch. Baja Blast, I'm pretty sure everybody's had that.
They're at the gas station. Okay. So they're at Walmart. All right, I'll go take a look. Maybe I'll go to Walmart tomorrow. I haven't been to Walmart in like six months. Shit. That'll be a fun trip. And if they don't have them there, I'll go to Target. But I appreciate the heads up on that. I've never heard of that of those flavors before. That actually sounds really fucking good. Because I love Baja Blast. My Taco Bell has the flash and ain't bad. That's maybe what I'll do. I'll check if my Uber Eats or whatever delivers those drinks. And if they do, I'll just order like a couple of them. Or not a couple of them, but you get it, the two. And if not, I'll go to Walmart and check. Target has better deals on soda. Unfortunately, I don't have a Walmart near me, so Target's like the only thing I have. But I don't know. Target to me is way more expensive than Walmart. Like Walmart's always a lot cheaper in general. Are you going to be playing the Diamond and Pearl remakes when they come out on stream? Yeah, that's the idea. I'm going to probably just marathon it. That's the, um, that's the plan at least. Like, I think at that point I'll be working full time. So once I get off of work for that day, I'll probably hop on Pearl and just stream it and probably just stay up all night playing it. So that should be pretty fun. I fucking love Gen 4. So I think that'll be a really good time. What Switch games would I recommend? I mean, Mario Kart 8, obviously. Super Smash Brothers. The Bayonetta games are pretty fun. Mario Golf is actually really good. Like, that is just a genuinely chill and enjoyable game to play. Like, you can just play it solo, and it's a really fucking entertaining time. Like, it's really... It's a really soothing experience. I don't fucking know, man. Mario Golf just hits different. I have really been enjoying that. But obviously, like, the Pokemon game is really good. You know, people say, oh, Sword and Shield bad. Personally, I like them. So, you know, kind of make your own decision there. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That's a really good one as well. I'm trying to think what else. I like really enjoyed on switch I would stay away from the Xenoblade games those are pretty fucking bad um what else I'm trying to think I don't know in front of me but that's a pretty good amount Tim with the five for the gaming fund my man appreciate it dude Baja Punch is fire got a 12 pack from Walmart thanks for the great content you put out Firm handshake. Appreciate it, bro. But yeah, I'm gonna have to try those flavors. Like, I did not know this was a thing. So, yeah, I'll go check Walmart tomorrow. I'll go make a trip out of it. If I can wake up in time, that is. Maybe I'll have to set my alarm. But yeah, 100% gonna check that out. Dial 1 800 Harbinger with a 5. What's your opinion on Mawile? I recently ordered both a holographic Mawile car for 86 cents and a plush for around 20. Also, I got two booster packs. I mean, it's a fine Pokemon. Like, I don't know. Like, what's it from? Gen 3? I mean, it's a pretty cool Pokemon, I guess. Definitely unique. That's for sure. It's got the big-ass mouth on top of it. So, yeah. Very nice, man. A Samurai Samurai with the five. Hey, Griff, do you think Crap has nightmares about Phil Spencer? Sitting in his closet waiting for Crab to fall asleep to whisper Game Pass in his ear? Maybe, bro. I mean, the man got so fucking tilted, he had to mute the word Game Pass on Twitter. So who knows, bro? He could be having, like, some night terrors about that shit. And Phil Spencer may be haunting him to this day. Oh, shit. I got fucked. Unfortunate. Sergeant Jake T. Miller with the 7 GTA 5 story mode is the best of all time. I'm replaying it again. And I'm still getting the best feelings about it. Yeah, GTA 5 is a great story. That game's just genuinely really fucking good overall. Trim Baker with the 5. We have all three flavors here in Texas. They're limited time for the summer. Yup. That's the unfortunate thing about Baja Blast. Like, you can buy the cans for the summertime. 
But because of that, they typically sell out pretty quick in my area. So hopefully I'll be able to find them, but yeah. Summertime Mountain Dew always has like the most fire flavors. I forgot what the one was that Walmart had recently. It, had, it was like blue with a shark on the can. That one was really fucking good too. Pothead Investor with the two. Flash is pineapple. Well, I like pineapple, so it sounds pretty good. So Saber Room with the five punches, like an orange taste. Flash is just pineapple or pina colada. Check local gas stations. I know UDF carries it. Punch runs fast, so good luck. Yeah, I'm going to try to find it. I got a couple places near me. I have like two CVSs near me as well, so maybe they'll have it. But hopefully I'll be able to find it, man. And then what was the other Mountain Dew flavor they had recently? Major Melon? Bro, Ma Major Melon was really fucking good as well. I really like that one too. DJ Aftershock with the two. Watch Lil Romeo ICDC college video. What the fuck is that, man? I have no clue what that is. Saber Ram with the two. I'm mad they didn't release Liberty Brew this year. I didn't really like Liberty Brew or Liberty Brew. Why can't I not fucking say that? But I don't. that to me just tasted like fucking syrup. I don't know. Liberty Brew didn't really have a flavor to me. It just kind of tasted like they mixed a bunch of fucking sweet flavors together and it just came out like a clusterfuck mountain dew frostbite yeah bro frostbite was really good major melon was really good I'm trying to think what else one of my favorite mountain dew flavors was whiteout but they canceled it they discontinued mountain dew whiteout which is really unfortunate because that was a really good one Yeah, Rockstar made Midnight Club Los Angeles. That was their racing game. Sergeant JT Miller with the seven. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Europe belongs to Murica, period. All right, man. I'll take your word for it. USA all the way. Dylan Jewel with the two. Blackout was fire. Blackout was pretty good, yeah. Whiteout, though, was definitely my favorite, I think. So, Rackenzie with the two. Major Melon, Spicy KFC, Goat. Honeydew is shit. Bro, what was the other one they had? It was called, like, Sweet Lightning or some shit. That was the one at KFC, right? Sweet Lightning. It was, like, sweet tea flavored. I never tried it. But I heard it was kind of gross. Psychastic with the two. What's your advice for online dating? I can't get any. Like, what do you mean? Like, tender? I have no fucking clue, man. That's, like, completely up to fucking chance. The only way to, like, I guess guarantee it is to try multiple sources. Saber ran with the two. Pitch black for... Wait, is fire? Pitch black. I remember that one. Pitch black. That's a really old one. Yeah, bro. Try Farmers Only. You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com. That's right. Dude, I remember going to like 7-Eleven back in the day. Like when Halo 3 was coming out. And they had like the, I guess like themed Slurpee cups you could get. Where it was like a picture of Master Chief on it. I still have that cup, which is kind of weird to think about, bro. Like, that cup's, like, 15 years old at this point. But, yeah, I have, like, a Master Chief Slurpee cup for Halo 3 I got from 7-Eleven back in, like, 2006. <laughs> that shit's funny as fuck. I'd keep the cup, not gonna lie. Bro, I have it on my desk with like a bunch of pens in it. I still have the cup. I still got it, man.
Crap Gamer thinks Xbox players are miserable because of PC ports. Jesus Christ. Why the fuck would that make you miserable? Like, I, I really don't get that shit at all. Like, how can you actually be miserable that people get to play a video game? Like, step the fuck outside. So, probably with the two, you remember Pokemon Battle Revolution on the Wii? Yep, that's the only reason I wanted to get a Wii when I did. I absolutely remember that. That was so cool. You could hook up your DS and play, like, your Pokemon battles on the TV. In, like, full 3D with really good graphics. Dude, it was so cool. Yeah, I remember that game. That was the whole reason I got a Wii. Like, when I saw that, I'm like, I gotta get a Wii. Because I was good with my GameCube up until that point. But then that came out on the Wii. And I was like, oh, shit. We need that. Absolutely need that. So, that's when I got a Wii. Gaming Wolf with a 5 for any bad game that needs a remake. Which one do you think deserves the most? For me, it's Devil May Cry 2. Hmm. The Last of Us. <laughs> but nah, ser in all seriousness, I would say... A bad game that needs a remake. Hmm. Pokemon Sun and Moon. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Absolutely, Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's the only Pokemon games I couldn't bring myself to finish because it was so bad. Switch OLED might get Call of Duty or GTA. Probably not. Although they could get GTA 5 to run on the Switch. I don't know how the fuck it would work with that file size. That file size would be way too big for the Switch. Lilo and Stitch Part Bruh. Bruh. Saber ran with a two game freak knows any non wait. Any non GF Pokemon title is fire. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean any non game freak Pokemon title is fire? I mean some of them are and some of them aren't. That's the thing. Is some of the like spin-off Pokemon games are good, but like shit like Pokemon Ranger or whatever, that's that's like fucking Garbo. Or Pokemon Snap, bro. Like I I don't get the hype behind that. Like taking pictures of Pokemon, I don't know how that's fun. But you know, I guess there's a market for it. John Martinez with the uh, Or is it Martins or Martin Yeah, it's Martins. Okay, shit. I read that wrong. So, John Martins with the five. Marlin Gaming had a one-hour angry rant on the Switch OLED saying people shouldn't buy it. Then said he would buy it because he's an influencer. Hate to see it. Yeah, that's the typical fucking shit you hear. Yeah, don't fucking go out and buy it so I can buy up a bunch of them to fucking resell. That's probably what he was thinking. Yeah, I fucking hate that bullshit. Oh, don't buy this, but it's okay if I buy it because I'm an influencer, so I have to tell you how shit it is. It's like, okay, bro, sure. Sergeant JT Miller with the four EA play happening in 40 hours. Oh, I forgot they were doing that event. Maybe I'll stream that. I got to make sure I'm free, but yeah, I may stream that. That should be entertaining. Or maybe not. Nico Philippone with the two crap gamers been losing subscribers left and right. Not surprising. Bro, his channel's dead as fuck. His channel is DOA or DOF. We're not fucking DOF. DAF. Jesus Christ, man. I butchered that. Imagine calling yourself an influencer. Yeah, that shit's so fucking cringe, man. Yeah, I, I'm an influencer. I, I deserve to buy the new Switch, but you guys definitely shouldn't. You know, it's a piece of fucking garbage, but I'm an influencer.
Yeah, the amazing Lucas got a shit ton of people to unsubscribe from his channel. I think when I made a, my first video about the amazing Lucas, he was at around like 430,000. I think he's under 400,000 now. That's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. He's at 394k, RIP. Didn't he call some black guy out for having a white wife or some shit? And that's what pissed off a bunch of his subs. Like he was literally saying like, oh dude, you have no right to call yourself black or something because you have a white wife. I don't, it was something really fucking stupid. Somebody was telling me about it in the stream. Like God fucking damn, man. That's a hot ass take. Like, what? Like, that's actually fucking racist, bro. That is racism. <laughs> Which is really fucking funny. Like, that is legitimate racism. Which is kind of funny, because isn't, like, Lucas a super big fucking Trump supporter or some shit? I don't know. Doesn't really seem like his audience would be too keen on that type of opinion. Especially if you have like a conservative YouTube channel. You're really going to call out someone for having a white wife? And say somebody isn't black? Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> that's, that's not really what your base kind of believes in there, but alright, man. Like, what the fuck? That was weird. Like, what are you going after a dude's wife for? And then I think he talked about the kids, too, right? He said, you don't have real black kids, they're white or some shit. Like, I don't fucking know, bro. You have a white wife and white kids. It's like, god damn. That shit's really fucking just... That's a really bad take. I don't know, bro. He's not really a conservative. He was just another grifter. So he's a political YouTube channel. Got it. The typical political YouTube channel. Grift until you make it and then suffer a crushing fall. So Offenders with the five thoughts on Yakuza just started playing Yakuza 0 and it's absolutely wild. I have it downloaded on my Xbox. I'm going to play through it. And I have them on Steam as well, but I feel like I'm going to play that more if I play it on my Xbox. So, yeah, I'm going to get into it. Yakuza's been on my radar for a while. I just haven't, like, dived balls deep into it yet, which I probably should. I've heard nothing but great things about that series. Saber ran with a 20 spinoff game, Stadium 1 and 2 Battle Revolutions. Apparently, Conquest was amazing. The Mystery Dungeon game, Snap, was interesting. I think it's because you can see Pokemon living life instead of fighting. I mean, I guess so. I, I just don't really want to walk around and take pictures. Pokemon Snap has never really appear or appealed to me. But Pokemon Conquest, I don't remember that one. What was Pokemon Conquest? Is that a fan-made game or like an actual spinoff? I don't remember Pokemon Conquest. Ah, oh, shit. It's like Fire Emblem? Oh, okay, yeah, I wouldn't like that. Okay, that makes sense. That's probably why I never heard of it. Pokin was fire. Okay, yeah, Pokin Tournament was actually really good. That was actually a pretty cool game. I have that on the Switch, actually. That was a really cool game. That was a very different perspective on Pokemon, for sure. DJ Aftershock with a 2. No, he was talking about the optics of it. Wait, are you talking about Lucas? You're saying that having a white wife is... Wait, what? Hold up. I, I don't know. So you're talking about Lucas, right? 
I want to make that clear. So Raging Boar with a five had a Kahul mudslide. I think I found my favorite alcoholic drink. What is that tequila you drank? Patron. Patron Silver. That is by far my favorite tequila. And then another really good one I tried recently is called Casa Noble. That's a really good tequila as well. Would recommend either one of them. Legend X with a 10. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Absolutely love your content. That debate yesterday was pretty good, though. Supernova was giving me a freaking headache. How can you sit there and continue to is wait to contradict yourself in the debate shake my head yeah bro and the thing is he was giving up way too much ground too like he'd go okay i'll give you that or okay yeah you're right okay whatever like bro he literally was agreeing with me on most shit and then of course the constant timeout 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 like bro it's a debate there is no timeout you keep talking and he would literally say timeout whenever i would like try to make a point and he wouldn't let me finish it's just really funny I don't know. I think it was an entertaining experience, personally. I'm glad I did it. Never done a YouTube debate before, so I think it went pretty well. Yeah, bro, he wouldn't even let me time out the one time I tried to stop him. <laughs> that shit was weak, bro. So Saber ran with a 10. Conquest was a strategy game. And my point is this game seems to get more attention than the main games done by Game Freak. Most of the spinoffs are done by other companies. Game Freak needs to give uh, Pokemon. Oh, that's never going to happen because they own a third of it. So I'm pretty sure Game Freak, Creatures, and Nintendo are three are the three partners that own the Pokemon company. The Kobe, the Pokemon company is owned 33% by Game Freak, Creatures, and Nintendo. And as long as they are a third owner in the company, they will continue to have whatever say they want in the franchise. So that's the thing. I don't know. Personally, I think Game Freak Pokemon games are fine. Like, I enjoyed Sword and Shield. It would be cool if they would actually, like, you know, hire more people and make the games a lot bigger. But I don't know. Who knows, man? Who fucking knows? Give you a Groovy? I got you, man. Groovy! So DJ Aftershock with the two, yes, the optics. I don't know, man. It wasn't a good... Either way, like, bro, calling out somebody for having a white wife is not a good look. Calling anybody out for having a wife of any race is not a good look. That's just fucking stupid. Like, that's, like, literal racism. I don't know. Osprey32 with the two. You won the debate, but I lost so many brain cells. So in the end, we all lost, I guess. Yeah. Valid point. Dow 1 800 Harbinger with the two. You can't call. Wait, you can't call time out. This is a freeze tag. Bro, it's not like a basketball game either. I don't fucking know, man. Where's the groovy f sound from? The Intellivision Amico E3 press conference. Groovy! That was basically, it was like, oh, if you want to win this art print signed by the Intellivision Amico team, you need to send an email with the subject line Groovy. to whatever the Amico email address was. <laughs> so fucking cringe. So fucking cringe, dude. Didn't see the debate. Guess I didn't miss out. It's on the channel still if you want to watch it. It is on the channel if you want to go back and watch it. With T Carter with the two, can we get the subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out? Yeah, I got you, man. Get the subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.
There you go, bro. Amico is greater than Switch OLED. Absolutely, man. If you have a job, maybe you can finally get laid, Griffin. That's what I'm hoping for, man. I start my job in late September, so wish me luck. <laughs> maybe my dream will come true, dude. Get the gaming? I got you, man. Wait, where the fuck is it? Gaming. There you are, sir. Got to review the... Oh, dude, I definitely will. I I'm buying the Amico. Don't you guys worry. You know, it's like... It's become kind of like part of the lore of the streams at this point. So I gotta fucking do it, man. I gotta do it just for the fucking memes. I'll take the L on the 300 fucking dollar price tag of the Amico. Because I will never fuck... Dude, that would be a great video, too. Me trying to trade in the Intellivision Amico at GameStop. And see if they fucking take it. <laughs> I fucking doubt it. I doubt it. That's how you know if it's a legitimate game console or not. If GameStop accepts it for trade-in. If they don't, it's not a real game system. It's a fucking gimmick. And they know it. So Saber Ram with a 10, if they would stop penny pinching for max profit and actually try making a game that didn't feel hollow, they could probably carry Nintendo single-handedly, but I enjoy Sword and Shield for what it's worth. Yeah, I mean, to me, personally, I enjoyed Sword and Shield. I didn't get the hate erection that a lot of people did, but at the same time, yeah, it could have definitely been a lot better. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. I mean, at least they're taking a chance with the Arceus game. I will say that, like, at least they're, like, taking a chance with that shit. I would have really preferred, though, if the Gen 4 remake would have been in the art style of Sword and Shield, though. I was very disappointed with, like, that fucking, like, plastic doll look. Like, that looks so fucking shit. Now, is it the biggest deal? Because once I start playing the game, I'm probably not even gonna fucking pay attention to it. No, but it still would have been nice if it looked better. Raging Boar with the 5, you backed him in corners many times, plus he was constantly running in circles. Yeah, bro, that one part where he tried to change the topic to, like, the console war shit, that's when I was like, alright, motherfucker, you know what? That's when I determined, you know what, I am gonna pull out the timestamps. That's when the timestamps started popping out. And, like, the whole thing was, he called me the biggest bitch on YouTube. And then, literally, I got him to admit that, oh, yeah, that doesn't really make you a bitch. And I didn't understand the situation. Like, literally, dude, he backpedaled on every accusation he made about me, basically. Which I see that as an absolute W. Yeah, you keep that same energy gotcha man am i looking forward to metroid dread i'll probably pick it up i don't know if i'll ever play it <laughs> if i'm just being honest but yeah typically i'll buy most nintendo first party games so griffin you're doing god's work man i appreciate it dude thanks so much but to everybody watching man can you guys smash that like button bro i'd really appreciate it play a random sound um sugar father there you go that's pretty random right except for zelda well i buy most of the zelda games and never touch them true story saber ram with the five did anyone have an issue with the gen 3 remakes looking like gen 6 slash 7 yeah, make Gen f Remake or Gen 4 Remake look like Gen 8. God only knows what they'll try for Gen 5. Bro, that's the thing is like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are probably are probably my favorite Pokemon games of all time now. Like they are just so well done. There's so much in-game content. 
The amount of legendaries you can catch is absolutely incredible. Flying around on Latios and Latios was really fucking cool. I don't know, man. I think they killed it with the Gen 3 remakes. And to look at Gen 4, they just, like, fucking said, All right, here you go. Stop fucking asking for it. I don't know. It just, it just feels like they kind of did it dirty. They put in zero effort whatsoever. And it's not even like Game Freak did it themselves. They gave it to some fucking random ass studio that just fucking butchered it. Absolutely fucking butchered it. Like, what the fuck is that art style? No Pokemon game has ever looked that bad before. A Samurai Samurai with the three Griffin woke up and chose violence for them to be. I mean, to be honest, man, I wasn't, like, going into it super fucking hardcore, but I guess so. I don't know, man. Lyra with the two. Phone went out, so missed the response to second super. Oh, my bad. It's probably gone now in the feed. I can try to find it. Yeah, no, I don't see it. Sorry about that. I did read it, though. Gen 4 just looked at Link's Awakening art style and said, let me copy your homework. Yeah, that shit was ugly. I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking for that. I don't get the appeal of Pokemon. I think the games are boring. I mean, that's fine. It's not for everybody. It's just the game series I grew up with. It was a huge fucking part of my childhood. So I have a huge, I guess, nostalgia boner for it on top of that. But, like, everybody I knew, we all, like, got together and played Pokemon. So it was less of a game and more of, like, a social experience, I guess you could say. So Saber Ram with a 5, I pre-ordered Alpha Sapphire, played an hour and haven't touched it since. Once I beat Black and White... Two, I'm picking it back up because I never played Gen 3. It's a great one, man. I'm telling you. Like, just give it a chance and then look up all the legendaries you can catch after you beat the game. Like, it's really fucking cool. Oskiwaski with a two. Supernova enters Griffin. So you have chosen death. <laughs> Bro, I didn't think I went that fucking hard on him. Like, I don't think I was, like, super fucking, like, I don't know. I didn't feel like I went all out. Let's put it that way. I was trying to keep shit civil. There was, like, that one part where he said, oh, so you can read minds, where I was kind of like, yeah, man. They call me Professor X. I don't know. That was, like, the only time I kind of, like, started to get into my bullshit. But I kind of stopped myself. Yeah, I was kind of trying to keep it professional, man. You know, my, my reputation was on the line, guys. But yeah, I tried to keep shit at least respectable. Let's put it that way. Oh no, not your YouTube reputation? I know, man. I have a very squeaky clean image to protect on this platform. I gotta be careful. Gotta be careful, man. People try to take it away from me all the time. Special Force 117 with a 5. Griffin is now Wings of Redemption 2.0. As he was paid to play a movie game, he absolutely hated <laughs> on stream. <laughs> Shit. Congrats, man. Wings of Redemption would be proud. Dude, that is true. I am the new Wings of Redemption. Hell yeah. Maybe I should go buy a V6 Mustang. Red with a black racing stripe. You know? It's got a salvage title. Although, I'd want to buy a new, so it wouldn't have a salvage title. But, who knows, man? Maybe I should become Wings. Wings of Griffin, that's right. 
<laughs> Wing some Griffin. Yeah, subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. That's right, man. I gotta start living by my new motto. Dude, why the fuck could I not jump through that little window? I was having a certified retard moment. Damn. Hate to see it. Mega schlong with the two. If only Supernova could... Keep that same energy. Indeed. I mean, I will say he kind of kept the same energy at first. But then when we started going to the actual points he was trying to make against me, he, like, conceded on almost everything. You need some Liquid Richard in your life? Everybody does, man. Everybody fucking does. That's the real good shit. But yeah, I have a I have a Xbox trailer that I want to show you guys. <laughs> oh my fucking god, bro. Like I I almost kind of regret ever like sticking up for Xbox or like giving them any sort of props because I literally saw the most cringe shit. I have seen from a video game company in quite some fucking time and it's coming direct from Microsoft <laughs> like we're gonna take a look at that tonight for sure it is so fucking bad like it is so bad <laughs> I will show you don't you worry Griffin, what happened to Mini Lad after you destroyed his career? Bro, I don't think I'm the one that destroyed Mini Lad's career. I think him trying to hook up with the fucking 13 year old kind of did that. But, um, I don't really know. I don't really keep up to date with YouTube's favorite pedophile. <laughs> Oh, shit. I was trying to do some really cool, like, oh, dude, I'm going to fucking spin, jump up on the fucking railing, and then I fell off. Unfortunate. Truly unfortunate. Griffy was the 13-year-old. I wish. I wish my favorite Minecraft YouTuber would have tried to groom me. Why couldn't it have happened to me? Lyra with a two. Big ups, Liquid Griffin. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm on a liquid diet. Maybe I should go get my stomach cut out. Complete the transformation, right? Debate EDP when? <laughs> Bruh. I don't think ED... Dude, I think I would probably get banned if I did a debate against EDP on YouTube. I don't think they would let that happen. They would probably strike it down. Mega schlong with the 169. I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Gotta love some mega schlong. EDP in jail yet? I don't think so. But his entire fucking life is ruined. All, like, think about it. All of his family knows he's a fucking pedophile and shit. Like, what a fucking loser. Offenders of the Five, I was going to hold off until release, but after the debate, I pre-ordered Battlefield 2042. Oh no, I guess I'm ruining the video game industry. Dude, why would you pay more? Wait, what was it? What did he say? Why would you pay double the price for something that should be sick? I don't fuck, dude. I was like desperately trying to make sense of half of what was being said. I don't know. Probably with a five, anybody who likes Pokemon and is bored with the series play Pokey MMO. Free online multiplayer mod, a fire red, emerald, heart gold, soul, silver, platinum, black and white. It's good. I may look that up. That sounds pretty cool. I've always wanted Pokemon to do an MMO. So I may have to take a look at that. Emery with the two, Jared from Subway Debate. Absolutely, man. I'm going to destroy him with facts and logic. I'm going to become the fucking Ben Shapiro of video games, man. Just watch.
Dial 1-800-Harbinger with a 5. I heard Minilab was deleting old videos trying to hide his past or something. He might be trying to restart his YouTube career. Bruh. Gotta fucking love everyone's favorite YouTube pedophiles. You know, they're just truly amazing human beings. So is there anything really I want in this battle pass? Nothing. I want this. This is the only thing I want out of this entire battle pass. That green energy sword is so fucking dope. Like, that is by far the coolest thing in this entire entire battle pass. Absolutely. fucking lutely Z herb with the three debate dream cask. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> that would be funny. So careful, Griffin. Bill Cosby spiked your drink. Hell yeah. Bill Cosby doesn't need to spike my drink. He can have his way with me at any time. You hear that, Bill? Come here. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> I'm waiting for you, Bill. No spike drink required. Dude, how fucking epic would it have been if immediately after Bill Cosby got out of fucking prison, he went to like a big ass nightclub and said, all right, everybody, drinks on me, and just fucking recorded that shit and uploaded it to fucking YouTube or Twitter? Like, that literally would have been the most epic fucking troll moment in the history of like, probably the internet in recent memory. Like, that shit would have been the greatest fucking meme on earth, bro. If he just went to a fucking nightclub and just said, All right, everybody, drinks on me. <laughs> I don't fucking know. That would have been gold. And it's all jello shots. <laughs> Only thing that would make it better is if he shook a pill bottle at the same time. Oh my fucking god, dude. That shit would be gold. I would have had to do that. You know, fuck it, man. Everybody already thinks I'm a rapist, so why not fucking troll a little bit? You know? We do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. Bill Cosby should have done that shit, man. Absolutely. I would have paid to see that. So let's see, Raging Boar with the 5, hype for the end of the week, my thermal phase should arrive, I've realized how little of my time is spent on YouTube, I miss gaming, fair enough man. I kind of miss playing games at times too, but then I like have some free time to go play them, and then I'm like, oh, well, now I don't really want to play them, that's the struggle. But yeah bro, I miss the days like I could just sit there and play video games for like 12 hours a day, that shit was fire. High school will, will always be a great time. Saber ran with a two. Pineapple goes on pizza. Debate me. I don't really care about pineapple on pizza that much. If it's like a Hawaiian pizza, it's fine. I don't really care that much. I think it's perfectly okay. Eat whatever the fuck you want on pizza. Except the motherfuckers who order pizza with no cheese. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That is actually disgusting. Probably with the two. Cosby speed run. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Down a whole bottle... Or, yeah, a whole fucking pill bottle of roofies. Easy. Easy clap, man. Lyra with a two. Talk with Frit was good. Need to watch the whole debate. Yeah, dude, that debate's actually pretty fucking funny. I don't know. I watched it back, and, like, there's a lot of things I'm like, Jesus Christ. Because I don't remember all of it, but it's pretty good. Just to stroke myself off a little bit, but yeah, it was, it was a pretty good debate. Saber ran with a two, good debate, GG, appreciate it, man.
I heard that Darman called out Pyro Cynical, but don't quote me on that. Bro, what the fuck does Pyro Cynical have to do with Darman? The fuck? Does he make like Darman reaction videos now? Is that the new wave? My sister orders pepperoni pizza and picks them off and doesn't eat them, so I tell her, just get the cheese then. And she said she do it doesn't taste the same? Bruh. Yeah, that's a bra moment. That is a certified bra moment. Oh shit. So Special Force 117 with the 5, the Battlefield campaigns were great until 3, as they were lengthy enough like the COD games, but starting with, or starting from Battlefield 4 onwards was boring and Battlefield 5 was PC. I mean, even Battlefield 3's campaign was not that great. Like there was one good mission and that was the tank one and that was about it. Oski Waski with the 2, Supernova, I have made a... The severe lack in my judgment. That's right, man. You need to debate Darman? Absolutely, fucking lily man. I want to hear how Darman is changing lives, bro. I demand for him to explain himself to me. I demand an explanation. How has my life been changed as a result of watching your videos, Darman? Please. Please, tell me. <laughs> that would actually be fun as fuck. I would actually probably be down for that. Dude, what if it comes out that Darman's not actually changing lives and I am? Like, that'd be the biggest fucking plot twist. So, Nico Philippon with a 2, Darman would just whip out his Bible. Dude, he needs to release the Darman Bible. I've been waiting to purchase that for quite some time. Maybe we could do a community reading of the Darman Bible when it comes out. You know, just sit down, turn on some nice background music. I can pull out my reading glasses, bro, and a nice fucking pipe in my robe and just sit there reclined in my chair reading from the Darman Bible for you guys. Darman will either seduce you into changing your life or he will do it by force. That's right, man. He'll fucking force me. The sacred Jedi text. I know, bro. Like, the fucking Darman Bible is going to be, like, the greatest piece of literature from our time. Saber Ram with the two. Debate low tier God. Get that ass ban. Bro, I don't think he would debate anybody. And I don't even know what the fuck I would debate low tier God on, to be honest. Like, like all fucking homo shit aside that he says, like, that's funny to listen to. Like, I actually kind of like his content. Like, some of his videos are really good. Yeah, dude, Darman is creating lives by fucking everyone else's wives. Absolutely. They fall in love with that beautiful smile after bawling their eyes out. You know, all the Karens after watching a Darman video are like in tears. And then that's when he appears, man. He's there to comfort them. And you know what? In return, they comfort him. So yeah, he is creating lives. So Special Force 117 with a 2, debate low tier god about his dark fetishes. <laughs> Bro, I don't want to debate him on that. I just want to hear him. I want to hear him explain it in vivid detail. Oh, David with the 5, shut up and take my money. I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. And will do.
chasing those middle-aged women with inspirational stories and roofies? Nah, man. The only roofie he needs is his eyes. You get lost in them. They're so beautiful. Oh, fuck me, bro. That's smart as fuck to hop on the little bitch and drive over. I'm waiting for the Darman director's cut. Bro, that would be epic. Dude, I'd buy like all of Darman's videos on like a fucking Blu-ray set. Absolutely. Like the fucking director's cut of every single Darman video put into like one massive Blu-ray box set. I would 100% buy that, bro. That'd be like a treasured collection. Debate him about his strawberries being cut to precise and serve him in Speedos. That's right. But not for my own pleasure. To embarrass you. Alright, man. Whatever you say. Most straight men would not want to see another man in a Speedo, regardless of the conditions. <laughs> like, I would pay money to not see some dude in a Speedo. T. Carter with the two soap trusted you? I know. Dude, what was that guy's name? Fuck. Yuri, right? Yuri? Dude, it's been a while since I played Modern Warfare 3's campaign. I probably should replay that. That campaign is epic. Raging Boar with the two. Later, Griffin, brownies and ice cream incoming. Sounds good, man. Have a good one. Appreciate you stopping by. Saber Ram with the ten. Then interview low tier god. Try to in get inside his mind and find out what makes him tick and why he says the crazy shit he says basically just blow his ego and get him to rant lol so it'd be like more of an interview yeah i'd be down for that dude i would fucking love to do an interview with like dsp i feel like that would be extremely entertaining i would love to get an in-depth look into the mind of philip burnell that would be a very interesting experience to like sit down and talk with DSP and ask him a bunch of questions because <laughs> bro, there would be so much shit to get into. So much fucking shit to get into. <laughs> that would be fucking great. T. Carter with the five. Price said that to Yuri. Yeah, I remember that. He punches him in the fucking face and he falls down the stairs right after it finds out that um, Yuri was working with Makarov. Mega Schlong with the two. DSP interview would be wild. I agree. So you guys have heard what's going on with DSP now, right? So, apparently on Saturday, DSP is doing his big e-begging er, stream because he needs money to pay his bills and his taxes and everything like that. So, he's doing a fundraising stream on Saturday, which the rumor is, is the tips gold is going to be $2,000, which is absolutely fucking crazy. So DSP is trying to make $2,000 off of a live stream in one day. Because apparently he needs money that day to pay his fucking taxes. So if you're going to donate, of course, you can't do it through Super Chat. You have to do it through Streamlabs so the money goes straight to his PayPal. He's one of those. You know, donate to me, but only donate to me this way. Yeah, he's got to pay his taxes, electric bill, internet bill, the water bill. I got to buy food. Like, bro, every fucking thing. <laughs> like, apparently, after he got banned from Twitch, he made like $20,000 that month in YouTube revenue. How the fuck do you not have money left over to pay your taxes? That is bullshit. You do not need $20,000 in a month. He claimed he needs $9,000 a month to pay his bills, which is the biggest load of horse shit on planet Earth. No fucking human being 
needs $9,000 a month to pay their fucking bills, bro. Like, his house is what? 500000 Or no, it was like 300 something thousand. But I think he owes... No, it may have been 500000 I'm not sure. So let's say it's 500000 right? His mortgage payment is like $2,300 a month. That's his biggest expense. His electric bills may be like 200 His water bills may be about 100 bucks, And that's being extremely, like, heavy use. You know, most water bills are like 30 or 40 bucks. And then let's say his internet bill is $80. And then what else? General <laughs> fucking bills like insurance and shit. Another 500 So he's looking at about $3,200, $3,300 a month. Like, there is no fucking world that he needs $9,000 a month to pay bills. That is the biggest load of horse shit on planet fucking Earth. Jasper treats? That's right, man. He needs to give Jasper those sweet kitty treats. Yeah, man. WWE Champions is a hell of a drug. Absolutely. fucking lootly. I mean, it's just fucking insane to me. Probably with the two is the pokey chat and discord only for discuss cards. No, you can join and talk about other shit if you want to. Rakenzi with the two low tier soon deer. Bro, isn't the soon deer the like think the girl that's like really like who likes to play hard to get or whatever? I mean, I could see that for low tier god. Definitely. Oski Waski with the two. Griffin is planning phase two and three of debates. That's right. Absolutely. Gotta make it happen again. So save a ram with the two first for DSP fund. Oh shit. I'm not doing that, bro. Cause he doxes people that fucking donate to him. This is the other thing too. There was this whole drama surrounding DSP and his Discord. Because if you donate through Streamlabs, it tells you the personal information of the PayPal account that gives you the money because it's just connecting the two PayPal accounts. So literally DSP will take the information from that shit and fucking document it. So if you ever become a detractor, he'll fucking dox you. Like this dude's a fucking psycho. <laughs> like this guy is fucking crazy. So there's no chance I'm donating to DSP. Special Force 117 with the two is the king of e-begging after all. Absolutely, fucking lutely He knows no shame whatsoever. No fucking shame at all. Blues 18 with the five just tuned in. Did I miss the Nintendo OLED subject? Nope, not yet. Also, I have a question for everyone. Do you guys consider a shark tooth necklace as jewelry? I mean, it's a necklace, so yeah, it's jewelry. Technically. I've watched Wings before, but I've never seen DSP before. Can we watch him, please? I want to do another DSP stream some night. But yeah, that's definitely a possibility. You prefer the term accessory over jewelry? I mean, it's one and the same, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's like no difference. No difference at all. Yeah, we're going to watch Big Man Gamers video tonight. I haven't seen it yet though. Oh, David with the two. It would be if you were to have another debate, who would it be? Yong, yeah. But that'll never happen. That would be absolutely fucking hilarious. Bro, that, like, I don't even know if I could contain myself. I would be going off, bro. I would be going fucking off at that point. Yeah, man, DSP is having a fundraiser to pay his bills. Got to step up, dude. That's right, if you guys enjoy the content, if you want to see him there every single day streaming, 
and for what seven hours a day but four hours is actually gameplay if you want to see that man you got to step up and pay his electric bill Luke Saner with the five would you rather play wings and cod play DSP and Street Fighter or play low tier God and smash ultimate love the content man keep it the good work I would say wings and cod because that'd be probably the only chance I would have like I don't play fighting games so low tier God and DSP probably would actually be me like not even joking because they're actually somewhat decent at fighting games and I just straight up don't play them mega schlong with the two DSP is for real hippo zone level psychotic bro DSP like his e-begging is just on a different fucking level that dude knows no shame at all. Like, he literally does not give a fuck how pitiful he looks. He literally is just desperate for money. I just don't know why he blew all of his fucking YouTube money on dumb shit. Like, that man should literally have hundreds of thousands of dollars, and he just doesn't. Like, all that fucking money vanished. I don't know how that happens. Like, it's not even like he buys a bunch... Well, I don't know what car he has, actually. Does DSP buy, like, a bunch of cars and stuff, or not really? I know nothing about the dude, really, outside of, like, his fucking YouTube shit. I know he had the two houses, basically, but I don't think that's enough to completely bankrupt them, or because he never paid off the houses. Like, I don't know what he is blowing all of his money on. I know the mobile game, but that that apparently he's only spent an estimated forty to $50,000 on. That wouldn't explain where all of his money is gone. Like, that's the thing. Even if he did spend the 50000 on that WWE game, that's not even close to a fraction of all the money he's made on fucking YouTube. At all. Using it on OnlyFans. <laughs> Bruh. Maybe he has a gambling addiction? Maybe. I don't know, man. Like, there has to be something going on. Either that or he literally is just lying through his fucking teeth. He had to pay off his ex-girlfriend. Who fucking knows, bro? Who fucking knows? Saber Ram with the five, I go, or I got the Pokey Walker on my necklace. I stopped counting steps, though. I need to try to fix it. Or if we want you to debate Yong and not abuse him, dude, it wouldn't even be, it, it wouldn't be a debate. It wouldn't. Like, that dude would not be able to keep up in real time. He just wouldn't, man. He absolutely would not. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm too fast. Like, we hear how slow he talks. I don't think he would be able to keep up. Like, I'm a pretty fucking fast talker. I can stay on top of stuff pretty easily. I don't know if he'd be able to. Oh, David with the two. How do you get into pokey card collecting? You just buy some cards, man. I don't know. Just buy some cards that you like. Preferably graded cards that are a 9 or a 10. And that's a great way to get started. But basically, if you buy what you like, chances are there's other people that like them, and you hope the value goes up over time. And that's the best way to get into it. But I would definitely buy graded cards right now, not raw cards. Mega schlong with the two. Because easy money come, easy money go. I get... Alright, you know, that is kind of fair. Alright, because I'm going to be honest, when, it, when I get paid from YouTube... It does not feel like a job. It doesn't feel like actual real money. Like, bro, I literally get paid to talk shit on fucking YouTube, man. Like, that shit's wild. Like, it doesn't feel like the money coming in for this type of stuff is real. So, I, I actually kind of get that. Like, easy money, easy go. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. That I can actually understand. Like, when I spend, like... So, this is the thing. When I was working my internship over the summer last summer... I was a lot more like, bro, I'm not spending money on this. I'm not spending money on this because I was, like, actually working. So I understood, like, oh, 
Well, you know, this 30 bucks or whatever that I'm about to spend, that's an hour of work after tax. So I was a lot more, like, I guess efficient with my spending. But when it comes to YouTube money, I'm like, bro, I don't fucking care. I didn't do anything to get this, barely. So I guess, yeah, that kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. Hell yeah, bro. Stick for the final kill. So, let me... Shit, I can't move my mouse. One second. So, Mega Schlong with the five. Lol, he spent it all on Amaranth OnlyFans. Is that good or not? I was looking at it, man. Does anyone have a, a testimonial for the Amaranth OnlyFans? Should I cop or not? <laughs> Oski Oski with the two. Give him the live Reddit chat and he'll be good. I don't know, man. Can he read and talk that quickly? Who knows? Without the editing, we may see a different side. Saber Ann with the two. Griffin be like, I'm fast as fuck, boy. Amen. Yeah. I am fast as fuck, boy. Baz Gaming with the five subgriff. Bought a Latios GX Gem Mint 10 from the Unified Mindsets. Arriving in a couple days. Checked on PSA, and there's only 35 out of 10. That's pretty nice, man. That's a pretty low pop. So, speaking of Pokemon cards, you guys know that Palkia I showed you, like, I think a week or two ago at this point? It was a while back. But I bought, like, this Palkia Level X card. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It may still be in the Discord. Let me check. It may be gone at this point. I don't know, but I bought, like, this Palkia GX card. Okay, it's still there. Um, This card. You guys see this? This card? There's only 13 of these. Ew, go away, Fortnite. Gross. But yeah, there's only 13 of these, so there's... 10 nines and three tens okay and then there's only eight other cards in a lower condition than those and i recently just bought another one so there's 21 of those cards graded in total across all grades and now i own two of them so i quite literally own 10 percent of all the Valkia level x cards graded like it's pretty fucking crazy to think about but yeah I got my second one for a hundred fucking dollars, dude. I could probably sell that. So, like, the tens are listed on eBay. The tens are on eBay, but they're going for, like, 40000 apiece. Because there's only three of them in the world. And the dude selling them has three of them. Or, no, not three. He has two of them. He has two of the three. So I got my nine for 700 bucks, which I think is way undervalued. And then I got an eight for a hundred, which was just fucking stupid. Some dude literally just listed it on eBay. Buy it now for a hundred bucks. I'm like, fuck. And I bought that shit up immediately. So it's pretty fucking cool, man. I own 10% of all the graded copies of that card, which is really cool to think about. So you generation of the two, Griffin, let me play with you. I'm about to switch over to videos in a minute, man, but possibly another stream for sure. Oh, the bead with the two. What's the difference between graded and raw cards? Graded cards have their value and condition basically determined by the number grade they get from one of the grading companies. I would recommend buying PSA cards. PSA cards are going to hold the most value, but if you want to get another company's, get Beckett. Beckett and PSA are what you want to get, but PSA primarily. That'll hold the most value over time. And they're the most desirable, so you can move them easier. So, Doom Boom with the five money made passively doesn't feel real until it beats your salary after taxes. Yeah, that's that's kind of the position I'm in right now with YouTube in terms of my job. 
but I'm still going to work because <laughs> this shit's not going to last forever and I don't count on it. But yeah, absolutely. The idea is to get more passive income. That's kind of my goal right now. I'm kind of saving up money at the moment to buy a rental property that I'm going to buy for the sole purpose of renting out to basically pay for the mortgage and maybe make a little bit of money every month and then keep investing in more and more real estate to continue to kind of do the same thing until I just have a lot of passive income coming in every single month where I don't have to work unless I want to. So that's kind of the goal right now. That's kind of the 400 IQ strats at the moment. Special Force 117 with the two. Griffin, I'm fast. Sonic, let's debate who's faster. Bro, Sonic's a slow-brained motherfucker. He make and run fast, but motherfucker sure as shit can't think fast. That's for sure. Or else some motherfucker named fucking Dr. Eggman would not be able to stop that dude. Did I kill that guy or not? Nah? That's... Is that the trillionaire grind set? I think so, man. Probably with the five, I shared a video in Discord how to get Pokemon MMO. You should look into it, and I'm confident it will help keep that chat a little more alive. There's guilds. All right, man, I'll take a look at it. It sounds pretty interesting. Mega Schlong with the two, you're going to sell the nine and keep the eight, Palkia? No, I'm keeping both. I'm keeping both of them. That's a stonk card right there, because once the Gen 4 remakes come out, that's when they're going to get really fucking popular. Geo Dark Knight 27 with the two, do you invest in cryptocurrencies? No, I don't. I don't like anything that I can lose like 20% of my money in a couple minutes. Like, that to me is not investing. That's like gambling, which I don't really like to gamble. Which I know may sound kind of ironic because I like to, like, open CSGO cases and shit. But, like, real money gambling, I don't really fuck with because I don't really feel like the risk versus reward is worth it. I don't know. I don't really like pissing away money like that. Lyra with the two, but Griff Landlord's bad. Twitter <laughs> said so. I know, man. I'm going to become a slumlord. Just watch. I'm going to buy the entire fucking New York projects. And then I can be landlord bad, but landlord will be rich. So I won't really care. Oski Waski with the two. Speaking of that, I have to do alt art. Wait, speaking of that, I have the alt art of Umbreon V. Dude, that's really nice. You should honestly sell that right now and just rebuy it later. Because the EV Heroes prices are going to keep coming down. So if you already have the card right now, go ahead and sell that shit on eBay. And then just buy it later when the price comes down. Because it's going to go down a lot once the English version comes out. So that's kind of, a, kind of something you may want to consider. I did the same thing with my EV full arts that I got from EV Heroes. I just got rid of them. And I'll rebuy them later. Griffin, please do a streaming channel. Yeah, that's the idea. I need to I need to get my second channel monetized first, though. That's the problem. So I need to make some videos on there. <laughs> I need to make some videos in general, bro. Griffin, what are we going to react to tonight? I have a couple videos I want to watch, but as usual, we can kind of just see how it goes. Bet how much they going for? Just check eBay, man. Honestly, what I do with my Pokemon cards, if I don't know the value, I just stick them up on eBay for a seven-day auction, put it as $10 shipping, and then zero ninety nine, like $0.99 cents for the starting bid, and just let people go to town. 
Like typically you'll get you'll get a good price if you just put it up for auction. Like most people aren't gonna let a good deal pass them by. So you'll typically get around market value. If you don't know like the current price, that's the best way to do it. That's what I do with most of my cards and I typically do really well. On a scale from one to 10, would you? what would I say the Switch OLED is? In terms of an upgrade, I'd say it's like a two out of 10, but in terms of a console overall, I think the Switch is a solid nine, bro. Like the Switch is fucking lit, man. I love the Switch. It's a really weak upgrade though. So Saber Ram of the two, second channel Wings of Griffin confirmed? Possibly, man. I have my second channel. It's just called Griffin. All right, so I'm going to play one more match and then we'll switch over to videos. I know it's stupid, but think about it. What do you mean? What are your thoughts on OnlyFans about wheelchairs? The fuck? Like a wheelchair fetish? I don't fucking know, man. I have no idea if that's a market. Saber ran with the two. Second channel wings of... Wait, fuck, I read that shit. Damn it. Double dipping. Lear with the two. I just checked TCG player for prices usually. Yeah, basically, I just sell them on eBay. I just stick them up for auction. I've had good luck with that. Like, I got some Bronzong, like... I guess shiny from Chilling Rain, which was really disappointing for my secret rare out of a booster box. And I just sold it for 20 bucks and it went for 20 bucks at auction. So it's the best way to do it. They sell for 20 bucks and I got 20 bucks for it at auction. So you're going to get around market price. Oski Waski with the two. How does the shipping work in USPS? Do I need a stamp? I mean, you can do that, but I would just get, like, bubble mailers from Walmart and then just print out a shipping label off eBay. It's pretty easy. It's not hard at all. That's what I would do. Just mail it in a bubble mailer and put it in the top loader. Brandon Donahue with the two is selling raw cards worth it? Yeah, depending on the card. I mean, right now, it's almost impossible to get shit graded, so the only thing you can really do if it's a new release card or a new card you got, the only thing you can really do is selling it now. So, yeah. It just depends, man. Just depends. I mean, you can look at the price, and if it's not worth it to you to sell it, then don't sell it. Like, if you like the card for more than what it sells for, then just keep it. Nothing wrong with that. Like, there's a couple cards I have that I won't sell just because I fucking like them. And it'd probably be smart for me to sell them, but personally, I like the card, so I keep it. I mean, at the end of the day, man, Pokemon's all about collecting, so collect what you like. The unchosen one with the five gaming has been dry as fuck recently. I hope Sony's next state of play <laughs> shows God of War 5. I don't think it will. I don't think it will at all. I would not count on that. Bro, what the fuck? Saber Ram with the two. Yes, double dip me, Griff Senpai. Sorry, man. No double dipping. It's unsanitary. Oh, fuck. What the fuck was that shit? Birthing person with the three. Just put down 200 on an OLED switch. Let's go. Where did you put it down? GameStop? Bro, where the fuck can you... Wait, am I missing shit? Have the pre-orders going up? Okay, no. Nothing yet. Bro, I'm waiting for these pre-orders to go because I'm ordering like 40 of them. That's how I made a shit ton of money when the Switch launched. Best Buy didn't have a purchase restriction. So I literally lined up and I bought every single fucking Switch I could afford at the time. When they dropped, I got 10 of them. And I resold all of them for 600 apiece. So I made three grand doing nothing. That was one of my biggest flips. That and the SNES Classic. I bought all 20 of them. They had a Best Buy. So, Birthing Person with the three. Pre-orders have gone up on EB Games in Australia. Lucky as fuck. Damn. 
I wish they would go up here. I want to buy a fuck ton of them. Yeah, that's one of the videos I want to watch tonight. There is some video Review Tech USA made about some kid who made 2 million selling PS5s. I haven't watched it yet, which it sounds pretty awesome though. Like, that's so fucking cool. Like, I think the kid... I think it's a kid. Yeah, I think it, that's what the title was. The kid? I'm pretty sure. Kid or some shit like that. But, bro, how fucking dope would that be? You make two million selling fucking consoles, bro? As a kid? That dude's living the fucking dream. I wish I was that fucking good. I blew all my money. If I would have reinvested all the money I made scalping as a child, I probably would have that. I could, probably could have done it. But, you know, I had two short-term of goals. <laughs> I was not in it for the long haul. Like, that kid's fucking balling. Two mil? Like, oh shit. Bro, could you imagine being a fucking child and you just made two mil flipping PS5s? Like, god damn. That's a W, bro. Like, I don't know how you can be mad with that. Like, that's some baller-ass shit. So, birthing person with a three, poor babies in chat be seating over scalping, lol? Yeah. Bro, I am an active participant in scalping. I'm not afraid to admit that shit at all. If I see 400 bucks lying on the street in front of me, I'm gonna pick that shit up. And if I can make 400 bucks doing absolutely fucking nothing but printing out a shipping label, I'm sure as fuck gonna take that money. Like, it's not even a question. Like, if you were walking by 400 bucks on the street, and all you had to do was pick it up, would you not fucking take it? Like, I think most people would be lying if they said they wouldn't. Like, if you can literally make money for doing nothing, I highly doubt people would be like, Well, no, I I I'm just not going to get that money. I'll let somebody else make that money. I'll let somebody else pick up that free money on the side of the road. Like, it's so fucking stupid to me. Because the way scalping operates, if you don't do it, there's literally a hundred thousand other people who will. So it's pointless for you to not get in on it. Get your money up, not your funny up. Did I hear about the dude that stole 10 million worth of Xbox gift cards? <laughs> Is this real? How the fuck do you steal 10 million dollars worth of fucking gift cards? <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Imagine what a pain in the fucking ass it would be to enter all of those. What the fuck? Bro, that's fucking... <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. How many fucking gift cards would you need for that shit? Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ. He resold them? Good. Dude, imagine managing all those fucking codes, though. So, Mega Schlong with the two, I'm considering getting a Series X worth 700 or nah? I'd say nah, because it's pretty easy to get a Series X. Like, they're not really hard consoles to get at this point. You can get them pretty easy. I got another one the other day. I'm deciding if I want to pick it up from Best Buy or not because the resale on them is not really that great. Like, it's literally sitting at Best Buy waiting for me to pick it up. I just, I'm not sure if I want to try to resell it because I can only make like 50 or 60 bucks on it. And I don't really know if that's worth it. The PS5 is coming down a lot in price, too. It's almost not even worth scalping that anymore. I don't know. Like, the console prices are kind of coming down, so I guess that's kind of good. The hype is kind of dead. It's not as big as it was.
so I Lobo Gaming with the two scalping equals equals capitalism. Absolutely, supply and demand. Saber ran with the five. I found credit card in the park today. I cut it up and threw it away because I had no idea how to contact the owner. Yeah, that's what you do with the credit. You definitely do not want to get caught using a stolen or lost credit card. That is a literal crime, and that is not worth going to fucking prison over. So yeah, that's the right decision. And chances are, if they lost their credit card, they already canceled it anyway, so yeah. Nope, that's the right thing to do. Absolutely. Good move, man. Good move. Travis with a 2, finally some Halo gameplay. That's right, man. We gotta have some... Gaming. You know? People call me a not a real, or they call me not a real gamer, man. I gotta break the, break the fucking rumors. Scalping really is pure capitalism. Yep. You're connecting a buyer with the item they want. That's all it is. Offenders with the two. I heard... Metal Gear Solid might be getting a remake as a PS exclusive. I mean, honestly, they can keep that shit. <laughs> like, I'm not really a big Metal Gear fan at fucking all, so I guess good for them. Good for them, I guess. All games video with the five, I don't see the reason to be upset about scalpers. There are better things to do than worrying about what you can't control. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, the blame falls on the companies for not having enough supply. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Legend X with the two, looking for a PS5, can't find one. Yeah, PS5s are still pretty hard to find. So right now, if you were to sell a PS5, you'd make about $70 on it if you sold it on StockX after fees. And if you sold an Xbox Series X, I think on StockX right now, you'd make about 40 bucks. So there's really not that much profit anymore on either of them. But again, it's pretty fucking simple. Oski Waski with the two, do you drop it off at the USPS office or the box? You drop it off at the office. You got to take it to the desk. Caleb Powell with the 10, if I could afford to scout by Woodlow. Also, I b also bet IRS loves you with profits you make. Hate to see taxes you have to pay during theft. Oh, I mean tax season. Yeah, dude, it's my taxes this year <laughs> were fucking brutal. Absolutely fucking brutal. I got my fucking cheeks spread. Absolutely fucking spread, bro. Fuck taxes. That's all I had to say on that. I absolutely fucking hate taxes. If I was ever elected...